When I lived on Pine, it was worth the admission of a coffee from four bucks to sit on their patio and watch the women carry their heels home. Makeup from the night before smudged into a different face. Dress a wrinkled mess of regret. Their walk? I sat in a different apartment this morning. A Monday. Laptop open, coffee made, and cigarette lit. By 7.30 a.m., three fuck yous have already been emitted from a new tent set up on the sidewalk out front of the Presbyterian Church. The Rite Aid on 6 had been home to a fair-skinned man. But nowadays, he's against the wall of the liquor store on Anaheim. Freckled face stained red from the sun, hair gone as his tomorrow has, days still come to him. But life had left before we even met. You've heard the argument of nature versus nurture, but have you taken the time to be an honest spectator of it? It's the actor that's quoted, but don't you know the creator of his lines? There's this project that I'm gonna get back to about the origin of the creativity of man. When she dances upon the stage, the boy strums his mandolin, my lunch break, finishing this line. Don't you know what or whom it is we're imitating? Two years ago, before the embarrassment of the library was demolished, a disheveled woman introduced herself as new to the community of vagabonds that lived in this courtyard. That home for books is now being rebuilt, and maybe, one day, it'll house a work of my own. There had been that time, on a cold February evening, when I walked a stranger home, kissing her goodbye and telling her goodnight, that in a roundabout way, put me where I am today. You can have La La Land, the city of angels and its boulevard of broken dreams. I'll take the eclectic, the eccentric, the diversity of this old oil city. As of now, I live alone. And I call this downtown home.